uh, a three, a two, a one, go. Nope, it did not start. <laughs> We've got Matt the Sun, Daniel and an egg, just kidding, it's Ryan. They're playing video games. Shut up, it's about to start. We're back. It's me, Mathis, and Dan. Hello. Slip and slide in it's Mario Maker 2. Hercules from Australia. Hercules, Hercules. You guys, you guys ready? Three, two, one. Go, good luck, boys. Just a quick score update. Ryan Gary got three points for first place in the last one, me and Mathis. And we, uh, yeah, no, nothing for us. You don't even get like a, you don't even get like a bronze medal for participation. <laughs> I, we, I guess we could get that. Just to. I was just joking. You haven't earned oh. it. Okay. <laughs> oh. So this level, if you didn't see, it has approximately a three percent clear rate, which is, I would say, fairly fair. Like that's. To die 30 times on a level, that's probably like a, a 10 to 15 to 20 minute level. Which yep. is pretty much what I want. Yeah. Like, I, we were talking about it. And we, we, I, were you, yeah, Mathis, you were saying your, like, expert high score is 7, right? Yeah, I think it's... It's, it's actually, seven. like, really good, I think. I mean, I'm happy with the 7 clear. At least by my standards. I mean, mine is 8, and I, I skip pretty frequently. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I skip frequently, but... There's there's certain things that I'm like, no, I'm good. Anything that's like you have 30 seconds to get through. Uh, yeah, because that's just bullshit. It's it's it's, it's a, they sap a free life off of you. Yeah, I mean, but isn't that like cool? How is that cool? Because you're like, whoa, how'd they make that? I know it's no, it's not hard. Yeah, but like it's impressive. No, it's not. Ah. <laughs> all you I mean all you have to do to do that is like just jump and then pause the game and then see where you jumped and then just place platforms where yeah, you want them. Like all Shigeru Miyamoto had to do is <laughs> just jump. Forehead, yeah. Ah. Dumb death. Math is that's my favorite kind of level because when you're done, you feel like hey, you just walked out of the matrix or something. I think it'd be I mean, if it <laughs> if it wasn't um if I didn't have limited lives, like if it's just a, a level I downloaded, I can, I, yeah, and I have infinite tries just to have fun yeah, with it. Yeah, that's more fun. Because like I think uh, that's the problem is you you can make a good level, but then it shows up in endless, and people are like, oh, I can't beat it within four or five lives, so I don't even want to. Right, exactly. Which is is unfair, but it's also unfair to be playing endless, and then you get somebody's trial and error level. You have to you know, <laughs> die seventy five times on before you figure out the. The critical path this level is actually like it's a rare combination so far of like cool and a little difficult but not unfair oh shoot okay i see what i have to do now either you guys hit a checkpoint or no yeah yeah i'm on a Ooh. second checkpoint okay i'm on oh. the first if you if you made it to first checkpoint second checkpoint is not that much no i'm just i'm i'm dying to dumb dumb mistakes because I'm impatient. Uh, uh, no, that's not how you do that. Oh, that's how you do that? Okay. All right. Hercules. What's your What's your trigger in Mario, Dan? What do you refuse to do? Um, I'll tell you what. I, I beat my first super expert level the other day. Oh. And there's privilege, pretty much nothing off the table at this point. As long as, like... If you make the level where I can learn, so like Wolf's level, like I'll do it because he taught me how to crouch jump. But as long as they don't assume, I'm okay with that. You know? Like a, they just start you off and be like, there's a jump you can't make in a shell and you have to learn how to shell jump on the fly. I'm okay with that. Really? Yeah. Cause that's, that's how I learned how to, I did something. I did a uh, trampoline jump that way. Oh. Yeah. So I like, did a pow jump once, but it was on low gravity. So it's like, oh. I saw that and I liked it because I was like, the same reason. It's a tutorial. I will say this though: if you if you want to get on my skip list, do a 3D Mario puzzle level. That's yeah. it. That's <laughs> skip for me. I'm there's like a few things that I've always kind of disliked since I started playing Mario Maker. One of them is boss battles for no reason. <laughs> like just. Hey, my level took me a, long, a lot of work, so I'm going to put a boss battle at the end. Hate that. <laughs> and then um, another one is uh, 
I, I beat the level? Ooh. Nice job. It's just over? You don't even have to get the you don't have to get the keys. Oh what? Really? Yeah. The keys are just for maybe getting to the next like part? I think if you get all three keys, you get uh, three one-ups at the end. That's the way it looks to me. It's uh -huh. a cool level, though. I think I can set the world record, though. Um, and cars, I just, I will, I will give a car level one chance. But I've never played a good car level. I've never played a level where the car made me anything but mad. <laughs> and then... <laughs> I, I'm over, like, you go through a pipe, and then you're on, uh, like, what looks like a pinball machine with blue and red switches, and then you just have to, like, I don't know, escort a Monty Mole all the way to the end by hitting <laughs> the switches at exactly the right time or something, like, a, and it's just a, a slot machine disaster. Oh, I beat it, too. Huh. Oh. All right, let's hit my second checkpoint. I'm going to beat it. It's beatable. It's beatable. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, it's super beatable. You want to set the speedrun record, Mathis? I'll give it a shot. Yeah, let's try. It's only it's only two minutes. It's a little bit. I mean, you got to beat a boss in the middle of this one, so it's. That's what slowed me down, just because like, I kept dying to him dumbly. Oh, if, if there's a rule, if I take a hit against a boss, I will definitely also die against. Him. <laughs> I will hit him twice and then. Uh... Whoops! I screwed this one up pretty bad. Don't, 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 oh, you coward. <laughs> that's, that's very resinous. Um, and, uh, like, I don't boo very often, but mostly, like, because I want to, you know, be the change I want to see in the world regarding negativity on the internet. But, uh, I played a level, and I went in a pit, and then when I tried to get out, there were hidden blocks that laughed at me. Oh. <laughs> very classic Mario Maker obstacle. And I went, okay, you know what? That's my fault. What could I do about this to be better next time? I jumped in a different pit, and the exact same thing happened. And it <laughs> laughed at me, and I, I booed it on stream. And it was, like, the most <laughs> I've ever played. <laughs> Was, and it had two plays, zero likes. So I was like the first stranger that experienced the level. And I was like, you know what? You don't deserve to be on the platform. <laughs> Get out of here. <clears throat> oh, like, it, I'm dumb. Is it, I've seen a thousand troll levels like that. Like, I don't... Do you actually think it's, it's clever to make the, the hidden troll block path? I've seen it a hundred thousand times. Oh, go. God I'm okay dang it. with it as long as they give you a way out. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, if, I, I'm 100% with you. Like, just, just making a troll block or a pipe that drops you off into the ether is like... Yep. Is a any, any, any pick a pipe level goes into the boo trash list. Or also, sometimes, this is, uh, this is one where the community gets a little bit mad at me sometimes, but... Um, if I start a level and I see you need to get more than seven red keys to proceed, my brain shuts up. I know I'm going to have to go through a door and then that door is going to have a puzzle. And then when I complete that puzzle, there's going to be like another door that opens up. As and I'm like, Dude, it, I'm sorry. It's not Zelda. Okay. <laughs> this, do, this doesn't play to what I consider to be the strengths of Mario. I'm not going to boo your audacious level, but it, it might not be what I'm looking for from the, from the service. Like, I don't think a skip is meant to be insulting. You know, no. you, you know what you do when you go to a restaurant? You skip 95% of the menu. Yep. Doesn't mean it's not good, just not what you want right now. Yeah. Or sometimes Math has told you never to order that at the restaurant. Don't know. worry about any of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What, was there, like... Is there any video game presence at CoxCon, Mathis, or is it exclusively like personality? Um, there was a few, a few indie games. Uh, nothing, nothing huge though. Like I, I didn't get a chance to play anything. Uh, I was not. I didn't have the time. <laughs> what were you doing in between sets, Mathis? I had photo sessions, signing sessions, that kind of stuff. Ooh. Yeah, it was really a very strange experience. I just say that. Just because. <laughs> It's just weird. I, you know, being the attraction is never something that I'll, I think I'll ever really be comfortable with. Yeah. I feel that. Uh, I, I, do, I, 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 I haven't, th this is a fresh anecdote that I've never told I think about. I, wait, do I have the world record? What's the, 
I ha I'm playing it through my downloaded courses. I don't know. What you would you say the world record is? It was like 210. Right, I got a minute 45. Whoa. Did Real you quick. Do it? Was it deathless? Uh, I think I died. I died once at the boss. Mm. I don't know. Is it, I don't know if it's registering. I'm seeing out of my downloaded courses, I have that, but it didn't give me that. There, you have the new world record. Just a quick heads up on the Team Trinity Mario scoreboard. Ryan Gary has two. Math or Ryan Gary has six. Mathis has two, and I have one. What does play together? Oh, okay. For those keeping score at home. One second. I'm I'm in the middle yeah, of yeah. trying to beat Mathis' speed run. 145 and 110. I'll, I'll just... <laughs> <laughs> Dan? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just checking the next level. I think I got one here for us. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. What's your bit, though, while you load in? Yeah, okay, I'll just, I'll, I'll get the... Mattis, you, you take the world record there. Thanks, appreciate it. Of course it. you want to load. Whoa. Um, do... I'm just seeing the clear percentage. 5.21 clear. Seems yeah, fair. Yeah, that seems fine. All right, so this is from Suboptimal. It is D6H. Hang on, hang on. I'm oh, going back. Somewhere. Yeah. Okay. So I was at the, uh, like, uh, this place where, like Kate and I go to lunch fairly frequently. Um, maybe, like, two years ago. Somebody What's the name of it? I'm not going to tell you the name. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Did, uh, Dan, course not found? Yeah, all your, the other one didn't have a. Oh, wait, wait. This one actually yeah. might be found. It's, it's it the one above yeah, D6H. Yeah, I, I see that. Let me try it. Bone saw is ready. Uh, <laughs> let me know when you're ready to hit play on this one. I am ready. I think we're just waiting on Matt. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Let's okay, do it. Three, two, one. Good luck, boys. Good luck. So, uh, like a couple of years ago, I went in and one of the guys that worked there was like, hey, are you a YouTuber? And I was like, okay, I don't know how this goes. <laughs> and so, you know, he was like, I, I like watching your stuff. And I was like, oh, thanks. So, like, that means I'm a an lot. Idiot. And, uh, then for like the past two years, even though Kate and I go here for lunch, I don't know, maybe like a couple times a month, I haven't seen him. But I was in there uh, on Saturday and I saw him emerge from the back and I was like, I remember you. And he was like, hey, what's up? And then when we paid for our lunch, he gave us a $10 staff discount. Holy crap. Oh, and I was like, dude. The benefits of eFame. Yeah. But I was also like, I was going through some stuff because that was like the... Oh, all the toxicity <laughs> stuff no. the community had happened that week as well. And I was like, it almost legitimately brought a tear to my eye. Oh. Oh. I was, it it single-handedly restored my faith in toxicity. Uh, what are you talking parasocial about? Parasocial relationships. So my question for you is what everyone wants to know. Did you, what did you do tip-wise? Oh, I, I actually did feel bad because I just, I hit him with the muscle memory tip. So I, I hit him with like a, like a 15%. So he actually basically took money out of his own pocket. <laughs> right after I did it, I was like, I was like, Kate, you gave us a huge staff discount. And then like the next thought was like, I should have tipped him like 40% without a doubt. I'll tell you what though, say whatever you will. The universe works in unique ways. You know, my man, my man, it's, you gotta wake up pretty early in the morning to catch Ryan Gary on a bad day. And then maybe, you know, arguably maybe one of your only bad days. You know? Oh, absolutely. Up down to the side, welcome to Lion Pride. Take it through. <laughs> but I'll tell you, the universe works in mysterious ways because that man is never going to give me a $10 discount again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> after, after I uh, basically, I don't know, at that point, it was probably like a $2.20 tip. <laughs> <laughs> but then I was like, dude, I should talk to like, you know, this place has multiple locations. I should like email the restaurant and be like, hey, your dude did me like a great service. And then I was like, maybe I shouldn't email the restaurant because- <laughs> Don't want to get him in trouble. Yeah, I don't know if, if they're in the business of, uh, you know, <laughs> hey, we want our employees to be giving a, a discount to people they're friends with or are aware of, at least online. <laughs> like, you know All right, I, I beat the level. Ooh, what? Yeah. I've been whiffing at the same jump over and over. It is, I will say, it's, it's hard to tell an in-depth story and... Yeah, no, I had the benefit of radio silence. Mm, I think you can banty. Beneficial. I think you can banty and play, but telling a story takes a little bit of your jumping sauce away. Is it one opinion. screen or is it multiple screens? I think it's multiple screens. Yeah, that's because you have pipes to go through. Yeah? Well, yeah okay, sorry. No, I'll go because I think one of the pipes comes... Pipe, I guess I'm a piece of oh, okay. There's, a, yeah, there's two checkpoints you have to go through.
Yo, I just had faith restored. I got a real shot at second here. <laughs> I'll go for a speed running. No, no, Mathis, Mathis, you tell us. No, I already had a story. I already told the story. No, all right, so, like, what were people coming up to you and saying, like, hey, I love your Chaluminati, or what do they say to you? Yeah, mo I mean, a lot of the people, uh, a lot of people there were they super excited. They saw our merch kind of everywhere, which was great. Um, and then I, I had a few people who were like, I've been watching you since 2013. Like, I love your stuff. So it was, it was a good mix. And we had a few people that were like, since 2011. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A bunch of Starcraft days fans still were hanging out. Um, no, this is great. And I had, we had a bunch of people who had never seen the podcast before. And first time was the live show. So, oh God. So you're going to get some bump in those podcast numbers. Yeah, I hope so. That'd be great. Hey, can I do a little inside baseball question before you, Mathis? Mm-hmm. Do you monetize your podcast? Uh, we've taken one sponsorship deal so far. But beyond that, we we have merch, but it's not like it's bringing in thousands of dollars or anything. How, do you, are you still doing the sponsorship deal or no? No, that was temporary. It was a it was a four episode deal. Uh, oh, cool. Meandies? No, no beard brand. Hey, hope you guys have been enjoying our show about grizzly murders. I, just <laughs> <laughs> I think they did sponsor the. So we did. I made the Tommy Patera stuff, and then we did uh, female serial killers later. Haven't been listening fun. to this uh, podcast about murder to fall asleep. Well, you would already be asleep if you had a Casper mattress. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on! I'll take. I'll take it. That'd be great. But yeah, no, the the podcast doesn't really make any money at all. It will, though. Hopefully, one day. The numbers aren't continuing to climb, and I'm very happy with it, so. The monetization does exist if you believe it. <laughs> <laughs> the bucks, but... All right, I be, I, let's see if I got the world record. Think I got it? It's so good. Ryan, have you hit the second checkpoint yet? Yeah, I'm like, I'm at the what I assume is the final option. Oh, yeah, if you hit the second checkpoint, you're basically almost, you're like right there. Dang it, I did not. Ryan, tell me a story. <laughs> I mean, I don't have any other stories uh, from from my week, to be no. honest. I think we're both, this is going to be a photo finish are here. You, we're doing, are these hash browns? What are these? Ragu mixers? Ragu mixers. No! Uh, I need this second place. I need it. Dan, what was going through your head when Jerry fell into the pool <laughs> <laughs> during Big Brother 10? What was going through? Um, it's kind of like my whole life I've been riddled with multiple scenarios in which your self discipline is tasked and my self discipline is <laughs> not laughing at times when I shouldn't. Ah. <sighs> And that was one of those times where I think I, I walked the line. Like, my initial gut reaction was to laugh. And then you're like, yo, a man's 78. And like, he... <laughs> 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 like, you don't just fall. He didn't just fall into a pool. He stepped over the ledge. So his his other leg was, like, <laughs> ridiculous. With the crowd. <laughs> 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 into a manhole. <laughs> Second place. Uh, Dan, I finished the level. All right, the fastest it could. Five seconds ago. Well, you didn't call it. Well, I didn't want to interrupt your story. I mean, I mean, Matt, you're gonna have to judge on that one. Matt. I don't know. I don't. I have no judge. I just I beat it three times before you guys beat it. So do I get like nine times the points? I mean, if you you can. I'm gonna slap him with the Bowser Jr. Easy sticker. Let's go. You could you could take the second place if you want, but you're not gonna feel good about it when the videos come out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, like it, we're playing an auditory game here. <laughs> I didn't realize it was bingo, where even if you fill the card, if you don't say bingo, you didn't win. That's Yo, how it works though. What's your avatars look like, by the you way? You can you can go to courses, uh, and then played courses, I think, and I think you can see the list of people who have finished it in chronological order. Well, that's a little bit too in depth. I'll take the second place on that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the next one? Um, you want light horizon. Light horizon, yeah. Light horizon. Hopefully, I'm. I would look for like a high single digit to double digit clear percentage just to fill out the video right. At this Just, point, yeah. What did you guys think of um buzzsaw boneyard buzzsaw? It was a good level. It was like just classic obstacles, short. I like a short level in, in Mario Maker. 
Okay, so we're looking at Rocky Risks. Is that what you're looking at? Rocky Risks. He's got like a 12% clear rate, 20 right. second world record. All right, let's do it. Seems pretty reasonable. It's a platform-based level. Okay, you guys ready? I'm ready. Uh, a three, a two, a one. I started a little early, so I'm going to give myself a two-second penalty. <laughs> that was in 1,000. Did I ever tell you guys about the time that when I lived in Korea, the uh, track and field world championships were there uh, in 2011, and everybody was super excited because it was like the height of Usain Bolt's popularity. He's so fast. In the height of Usain Bolt's popularity. And... Um, so he, he lines up for the 100 meter dash. And you got to realize there have been like ads for this around the city for like the whole year, like the entire time that I've been there, right? He lines up at the start. Somebody else false starts. So they all go back. Second pass, he false starts is an instant disqualification. <laughs> <laughs> after waiting like eight months to I didn't go, but after waiting like eight months, people were like, oh man, I got tickets to the like 100 meter final. It's going to be awesome. We're going to see Usain Bolt. Dude gets DQ'd. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, that was when they were, was that 28? This, this, was, this was 2011. Uh, it wasn't the Olympics. It was like the, the track and field world championships. Oh, uh, okay. So it's like, you know, without being rude, nobody outside of like enthusiasts really cares about track and field outside of the Olympics. <laughs> this is kind of like the premier non-Olympic event. Uh, time. Okay, there we go. No <laughs> questions on this one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you sounded like... <laughs> you sounded Speed like, running? You no, know, you sounded like uh, um, Friday Night Magic. <laughs> <laughs> Have changed time for judge. Yeah. Which I know that was part of how you know your vernacular. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Matt, oh. did you play any magic in the UK? No. Matt, no, did I did not. There? So like when you weren't at the con, what did you do for fun? Mm, slept. That's, dude, I, I would have made fun of that in my younger days. Now <laughs> the, the jet lag was also killing well, me. The jet lag going to the EU is horrible. I am like 0% a baby about jet lag. Oh, right. Level, I can spin know, jump thing. I forgot about point, that. But the, Europe jet lag is horrible. Yeah, it's no bueno. Although Five. I guess you had you know, a little bit more of an advantage because you're from three hours. Five. 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 No, I mean three hours away from me. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it would have... It's just like... I don't know. Going west is always easier, I think, depending on when you land, I guess, because usually... It's easier to stay up later to set your jet lag right than it is to fall asleep when you're not tired, at least for me. So to like be on like a 10 hour flight and then land in Europe and it's like 10 a.m. I don't know. It's just you, you, you end up living for like eight days before you take a sleep. <laughs> and when you wake up, you're like so confused. Like when we went to <clears throat> that Paradox event in Windsor. Oh god, that was so long ago, yeah. Oh dude, yeah. But I was never right. We were there for like eight days. I beat it by the way. I was like, I'm still confused. Alright, boys. Yo, good good episode. Lots of fun. Let me give you the final update. So Ryan got his points, right? Did Mathis complete the Yeah, I beat the level. Yep. Mathis. So Ryan has ten, Mathis has six, Daniel has Ooh, five. Ooh. Fighting for that second. It's that first stage, man. It's that it's it's that first stage, wolf stage. Just there was. <laughs> we did get zero for that. Oh, okay. Fair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Multiple perspectives. Click the you know, you know, you've been watching man, since 2013. Some of you have been watching since 20, that's true. For now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.